Hey everyone, welcome to the Inside Scoop. I'm CNET's Cara Suboy, joined by senior writer Seth Rosenblatt. Hi. Hi. Now, Seth, a recent report came out saying that 13 of the most popular routers that we all use at home are now known as easily hackable. Tell mm -hmm. us about this study. So, uh, the research firm Independent Security Evaluators out of Maryland uh, put out this study where they looked at the most popular routers available, well, some of them, and they determined that using very common uh, to semi-common uh, security hacks, they were able to infiltrate the routers and that could be very serious. Absolutely serious because when you're at home, you think you're safe mm -hmm. and therefore doing your banking and your shopping Absolutely. and obviously Absolutely. important the, the financial other, information. The other issue isn't just for home use, that it, it's that a lot of these routers are used by small businesses. Obviously, a lot of credit card information Absolutely. going out over those, too. Absolutely. So the other part of this study that was a little disconcerting basically said that there's nothing that we can do about this, <laughs> or very little, at least. There, there is very little that we can do. Um, the study put a lot of the onus on the uh, router makers, the router vendors, saying that they really have to start paying attention to security. And uh, if they don't, they're leaving their customers, which basically means all of us, uh, out on a limb. But at the same time, there's not a lot of incentive for these router makers to update their technology that quickly, right? Absolutely. One of the big problems is that even when the router vendors do the right thing and they put out a firmware update, there's no automatic firmware update process. So you still have to go to their website, download the firmware, install it on the router yourself. And one thing that uh, independent security evaluators uh, uh, wrote was that they think that uh, that the router vendors should make this an automatic update process. Hmm. Well, it seems like the other part of the problem is that these routers are typically very cheap mm -hmm. and they last for a long time and security is yeah. not necessarily a selling feature. Absolutely. And it would cost them a lot more money to invest in security and to invest in the kind of features like Windows has or OS X for Mac has where it's automatically updating. I'm sure we've given these tips a million times, but how mm -hmm. about some very basic tips of what you can do to browse safely? Browsing safely is, uh, when, when we're talking about router hacking, there's not much that you can do because your internet signal is being intercepted at the beginning. But things you can do are use two different browsers for your financial and uh, mission critical browsing, such as emails, going to your banking site, and use a second browser for casual browsing. Um, I prefer using Chrome and Firefox, mm -hmm. but there's a lot of good browsers out there. And what about changing your network name and password as frequently as you can? Mm -hmm. Changing network name and password is a good idea. It's a very good idea if you can on your router to change your admin password as well. Mm -hmm. um, if you can use a password that has spaces in it, do that. That's uh, more secure than using one long word that has multiple characters in it hmm. uh, and, and you know unusual characters. Um, also, some routers let you change the username uh, from admin to something else. If you can do that, that's also recommended. Yeah, just extra steps for the hackers to have to get through. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Senior Thank you. writer Seth Rosenblatt, I'm Kara Suboy. Thanks for watching the Inside Scoop.